Hello dear students. So this session is mainly utilized or mainly useful for the diploma students who are studying the second year. So in the second year diploma, you have a subject called hospital and clinical pharmacy. So in this practicals, you are going to learn about transfusion fluids, how to prepare them, how to use them and how to sterilize the surgical dressings or how to sterilize various glasses and all generalized experiments will be discussed here. First of all, what's the meaning of transfusion fluids? So transfusion fluid is nothing but which we are using the water not normal water distilled water or water for injection for various parenteral products so how to prepare this water for injection generally we will take the potable water which is less containing less amount of chloride content and that water should be double distilled and immediately it should be filtered to utilize for water for injection understand so how to distill this you can see the apparatus here it is called double distillation unit okay in this equipment what will happen you can see here there is there are two tubes here okay so one is inlet and one is outlet so from the outlet it will go and there is a heating coil inside you can see here the iron wire is heating coil it is connected with the uh, electric uh, electronic circuit so what will happen when i am just uh, giving a demo for you so when you on the tap water will be circulated inside there is a uh, heating circuit so because of the heat water will give the evap uh, water will evaporate and the first layer will be collected in this inside jacket so from here again water gets evaporates out and will be collected through the second jacket and it will be condensed and will be collected from this collector this is called collector tube or collector so from here again one more attachment we need to give so generally uh, we will collect from here okay and you can see that immediately we have to collect the distilled water and immediately it should be used for water for injection why because if you don't use it Im immediately what will happen so it will lead to contamination because parenterals means you will inject right intravenous root means injections and all we will take through intravenous route so when it is reaching to the systemic circulation it should be free from all the pyrogens or contaminated uh, microbes or any other dust particles so that's the reason immediately after collecting from the du double distillation we need to filter it using Wattman filter paper which has 0.2 less than that pore size or you can use uh, you can also use like vacuum filtration and all so in the next session i will show you how to do vacuum filtration this is about water for uh, sorry transfusion fluids so how to prepare transfusion fluids it is nothing but distilling the water which water portable water not the water which is from the tap or which is from the local uh, areas and all portable water or whatever drinking water we use because the drinking water or portable water contains less amount of chlorides so that water should be used to make the water for injection why what will happen if more amount of chlorides are there more amount of salts are there what will happen because leads to corrosion this salts will uh, form the scales so to prevent all these reactions for intravenous preparations or parental products we generally prepare the transfusion fluids or the water for injection freshly instantly we have to prepare and we will use it for formulation i hope you all have understood this concept thank you